Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we are working on what we call a mohawk haircut. Now my client here does have some breakage in the middle of her crown. So we're gonna do this haircut to kind of mask that area. Now to start, we did not do a relaxer. It actually was not required for this style. It's not always certain that you have to do a relaxer whenever you're getting a shortcut. It really just depends on the texture of your hair and the style that you're going for. Uh, moving forward. So I started in the nape of the neck and I did a little bit of scissors or shears over comb and did a little bit of notching just to take some of the weight off. We're not going to do a full-blown um, pixie style cut. This hair will be a little bit longer in certain areas because she wanted to give the mohawk effect without looking like she had a full-on punk rock mohawk. So notching allows you to take the weight off and get away from what we call the jagged lines or straight lines and create just a little bit more blending and to also soften the haircut slightly. This is not something that I would recommend you do with the clippers because the clippers does have the ability to make the hair seem very choppy or even give you blunt lines within your haircut. So shears is actually best suited for this type of cutting. Now I know a lot of you are saying, oh, okay, did you already wash your hair before you did the haircut? No, I am actually doing the haircut before the shampoo. Why? Because I wanted to make sure that I could take that hair off and really cater to the hair that we're keeping, more say, and also be able to see my cut before the hair got wet. Now, this is an option. Some stylists do not like to cut their client's hair before it gets clean, but it's really dependent on the actual stylist. Now, let's talk a little bit about maintenance. My client here has a little bit of trouble in her crown area where she has about a silver dollar, maybe slightly larger size area that has broken off. This is actually in the crown of her head. So this haircut is actually going to serve as an illusion type style where it will make the appearance that there's nothing missing, there's nothing wrong, which is exactly what we wanted. And we'll also give that area time to grow out without us doing any type of cutting of the entire head and be able to cover that area just the same. So it's really just dependent on the situation. Every haircut is gonna be customized based on your needs. No haircut will ever be the same. It's like your fingerprint. Now, once you complete the cut in regards to the preliminary or even the base cut, this is when you determine if you're gonna do a relaxer or if you're just gonna just get a shampoo. It really depends on the stylist and what the client needs. So in her case, we did not do a relaxer on purpose. Um, did we know if it was gonna lay down 100%? I said about 75% I knew was going to lay down properly, so I wasn't really worried about it. But you can do this cut without a relaxer. Just keep in mind this would be considered almost a mullet on some hair textures. So be careful when you're getting these types of cuts to ensure that it fits your face um, and your hair needs. So once we completed her haircut, we went ahead and shampooed her using our hair repair and growth shampoo and conditioner. And then we sprayed a little bit of our hydration and strength leave-in spray. This is definitely required. Your shampoo and conditioner is going to determine the outcome of exactly what you're doing with your hair and your hair care needs. And of course, the Elite Hair Care USA products specialize in hair growth and retention. So I definitely recommend you go and check out my website at EliteHairCareUSA.com. Now for the wrap foam, I'm using our Elite Silk Wrap Foam. As I've always said before, it can be used on relaxed or natural hair. It works great on either side and a little goes a very long way. It has a nice lightweight hold, but it does not make the hair crunchy and it doesn't leave behind any flaking. So at first I was going to leave the sides and back straight and I just kind of had a, a surge of creativity. So I said, you know what? I think I'm gonna do some dry or comb waves instead just to give her that illusion of a nice waviness based on the type of style that we were going to do. So you'll see that we went from straight to wavy in just a moment using our comb and our Elite Silk Wrap Foam. This is not something that I would recommend doing without a actual wrap foam of some type. Um, the wrap foam is what makes the hair pliable and also makes the hair lay down in the areas where water could not. Now the crown area, I did mold it into the actual style, but you wanna make sure that you are molding your foundation in the direction that you're going to be curling or possibly styling the hair. Make your job easier and work smarter, not harder. 
Now for the nape of the neck, that is where I did my, my comb waves and I also did it on the side that was going to be exposed. You don't have to do this part. This was more just based on my creative aspect at that time. And it really just, I thought would go really nice with what we were doing. It'll just kind of soften the look and take away that straightness and give the eye a lot to move around to. So I definitely say try this out if you ever have um, a time when you want to just change up your style, but you don't want to change your haircut. So it works on um, short to short medium hair, depending on who is doing the waves. Now she does go under the dryer for about 45 to 55 minutes. And if you notice, when I placed my wrap strip on her hair, I did not place it and pull it. I pulled it first to stretch it out, and then I placed it on the hair. You don't want to disturb your mold, and you'll see at the bottom where I end up having to do my waves again because using that wrap strip did disturb my mold. Some people use this or do this um, style without the wrap strips, but because I know she might have needed a relaxer in some places, I didn't want to run that chance of the hair swelling. So now that she's dry, we're gonna go ahead and remove our wrap strip. She was under the dryer for about 55 minutes. And then we're gonna go through and use our H2 Pro flat iron to curl her and then clean up her haircut wherever needed, which the only cleanup that we needed to do at this point was really in her crown area. And it was little to none. And then for the nape and the sides, we're gonna use our 3 tenths of an inch H2 Pro flat iron to curl her and to give her the effect of um, I guess you call them 3D waves versus flat waves. So for my heat protectant, I use our Goddess Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum. I applied a small amount to the palm of my hand and then rubbed it into the hair. This product is also available at EliteHairCareUSA.com. So to start the style, we're gonna just go ahead and start with curling right above the occipital bone. I'm using my smaller iron for this area. Now, if you use your larger iron, just be aware you're gonna have a lot more volume than you normally would want. So the reason why I decided to use a smaller one is because I wanted to create that waving effect and I didn't want to um, alter my mold a little bit too much. And I also wanted to be able to create waves where I did not do the comb wave at the same time. How you do that is this is what we call 3D waving, where you take your flat iron and you literally comb through the wave and scrunch it as if it was a finger wave and then you use heat to set it in place. I know that was a lot. I know those instructions were probably really confusing, but it's okay, I'll show you guys in another video. Now, for the area where she had the breakage, I really just kind of went over it. I didn't mess with it too much, I didn't curl it. I really just made it a lot simpler for her because that area was too short for me to say that I was going to use a curling iron and mess around with it, and we're already hiding it um, based on what she has dealing with in her crown anyway. So it really was not something that we had to mess with too much in regards to our flat iron or even a hot comb or anything of that nature. Now I switched over to my H2 Pro 1 inch flat iron just to create some volume. And I also did use a little bit of Sebastian Shaper Plus on her hair to help seal the cuticle during the curling phase. So I'm going to let you guys continue and watch the style itself come together and then we'll come to the end and talk a little bit about maintenance and care after this point.
So we're almost finished with the curling or waving of the style. If you notice, I am using my flat iron to create just the illusion of a wave or a 3D wave. And I am doing my curls a little bit tighter on purpose so that I can create that 3D wave in that area. Now, this is not something that is required for this style. Everyone does it different, so there is no right or wrong way to do this. Every style that does this typically comes out really, really nice in its own fashion. So you don't have to really worry too much about that. Now for the finish, we did use a little bit of our goddess polish just to add an extra layer of shine and to also add another layer of heat protection after the fact for when she is going home. Now for the finishing, I'm using my rake comb just to kind of pull some of that hair and feather it towards her face. And I think the style came out absolutely amazing, by the way. And I'm gonna ask you guys to comment down below and let me know what you thought about the finished look, about the haircut, and in regards to us hiding the area of trouble, how did you guys like that as well? Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to also thumbs up this video and comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.